a place inhabited by the descendants of the brave Cossacks. A country that embraces the Black Sea, Ukraine. Here is found a long history created over millennia by the blending of Eastern and Western cultures and diverse ethnic groups. We will explore Ukraine, the mother of the Eastern Slavs. After flying over Europe's largest country, Russia, we meet Europe's second largest country, Ukraine. We are headed to the capital, Kiev, the home of a long history. Kiev is Ukraine's largest city and has been dubbed the mother of all Russian cities. It was founded 1500 years ago by the three Kiev brothers from the Eastern Slavic region. The first city built in the region of Russia and Ukraine is today's Kiev. This city shows how it has withstood the ages. Signs of a joyful and sorrowful history can be found in different parts of the city. One of those landmarks is the Museum of the Great Patriotic War, built in commemoration of the sacrifice of the soldiers who fought in the Second World War. This war caused the greatest sacrifice and tragedy in the modern history of Ukraine. Perhaps because of this history, the museum houses Kiev's tallest structure, the Motherland Calls Monument. When Kiev was regained from the Nazis, its population had been reduced to one-fifth of its original number. This was the most brutal period in the 1,500-year-old history of Kiev. At that time, Ukraine was a federal state of Soviet Union. After the first-ever Slavic state of Kiev was raised by the Mongol hordes in the 13th century, it was alternately subjugated by Lithuania and Poland and then annexed by Tsarist Russia. It would be another 70 years before this tragic history ended with Ukraine gaining independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. Walking around Kiev, it is apparent that history always leaves its traces. One of these traces is the Kiev subway system, left from the 70 years of Soviet rule. First, I must buy a token to ride the Kiev subway. Thank you. This costs around 30 American cents. The subway trains run 105 meters below ground. Why are they built so far beneath the surface? A station built with nuclear war in mind, This is one of the sad traces left which tell of the endless invasions suffered by Ukrainians. This is Independence Square in the center of Kiev. The square became famous thanks to the Orange Revolution that took place there in 2004. Tens of thousands of people gathered at this center and drew out a democratic revolution. Like Kiev's rise and fall throughout the millennia, 
The music played by this old musician who has endured the rough waves of life seems sad yet strong. The bandura was created in the 18th century. This traditional instrument is quintessentially Ukrainian. Ukraine's strong heartbeat can be felt in the square. If Independence Square shows Kiev's current state, this is where its past can be seen. Saint Sophia's Cathedral was built in 1037. A cathedral with the same name can be found in Istanbul. This cathedral is an imitation of the one in Istanbul. St. Sophia's Cathedral is the oldest church in Kiev. It was built by the first unified country of Russians called Kievian Rus, which aimed to make Kiev the center of Christian culture. This became the model of cathedrals built in Russia thereafter. The statue of St. Mary looking down with outstretched arms is a symbol of the cathedral. The interior walls are covered with frescoes describing the Russian Orthodox religion. Most of them were painted when the cathedral was built. However, the cathedral has not always remained intact. On our way out were Ukrainians dressed in traditional farmer costumes. The embroidered flowers are supposed to call for spring. Okay. What symbol? Mm. Traditional Sorochka. Uh, Sorochka. Sorochka. It's all handmade? Yeah. In April, Ukrainian women put on handmade clothes prepared during the winter and dance. They have been dancing in this way for generations. And uh, we sung and dance and uh, um, spring uh, came. Spring game? Spring came. Okay. Came, came uh, to our. Ah, so the, you're happy for the. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, spring yes. is coming. The Ukrainians yearning for spring must have been intensified by the country's long cold winter. The beautiful women's dance of yearning for spring must accelerate its arrival. There was a group of people gathered in the square. Curious, we went to find out what was happening. At first, we wondered if it was a Girl Scout gathering. But the event showed that it was not. 
얼스카우트하고 그 보이스카우트 행사인 것 같은데 특이한 거는 정교회 그 주교가 나 직접 나오셔가지고 성호를 듣고 축사를 하시고 The person making a sign of the cross is a bishop of the Orthodox Church, and the youth in uniforms are members of an organization called PLUST. I asked if this youth group was from the Orthodox Church, but surprisingly, I was told that it was not. While it was founded on Russian Orthodoxy, any religion is welcome. The square is a site of historical education as well. Saint Olga was the first person to be baptized in Kievan Rus. And Saint Cyril and Methodius created the Cyrillic alphabet used in Ukraine. These PLUS members have gathered in the square to hold a celebratory event which commemorates the winning of Kiev's independence. This is a sort of youth cultural event aimed at remembering the long hours spent kneeled before God praying for independence. This event reflects the Ukrainians' efforts to remember the value of independence. And now, here is Ukraine's biggest hero, Bodan Kamilnitsky. He is a Kozak general who resisted Polish rule in the 17th century. The Kozaks were a self-organized military community in Ukraine. General Kamilnitsky embodied the Kozak spirit. The Kozak spirit has remained deeply engraved on the Ukrainian spirit until the present day. In a rural area near Kiev, we visited a site where the Kozak life has been recreated. But exactly which aspects of the Kozak lifestyle have been brought back? Archery on horseback is a basic skill. The trainees here must also learn to fight with swords. This sword fighting technique is a special Kozak martial art. Accuracy and speed are important skills. When a trainee becomes familiar with these movements, he increases his speed. The faster the blades are spun, the higher is the esteem of the warrior. А так до совершенства идти бесконечно. Совершенство путем постоянства. Поэтому будем идти, будем тренироваться. <laughs> One of the Kozak's most important possessions is his horse. The Kozaks were cavalrymen. A good Kozak had a good understanding of horses and handled them well. He loved his horse and knew how to become one with it. I had the opportunity to have a taste of the Kozak lifestyle by trying horseback riding. 
Умеете садиться, нет? Смотрите, вы по-русски понимаете, нет? А, нет, не понимает. The instructor kindly showed me how to mount the horse. I was excited to ride a horse of good breeding, trained in the traditional way. The instructor said that horses can pick up the rider's fear, so I tried to get close to my horse. How do I look? Do I look like a Kozak? After going around in a circle, the horse seemed to have read my mind because the ride became smoother. Off to one side, some cast members were busy preparing for a festival reenacting Kozak traditions. It is most important to manifest the Kozak spirit of bravery and discipline. Today's demonstration is given by Sarah. She was going smoothly when, all of a sudden, her horse lost its balance and tottered to the side. As soon as she had let down her guard, her instructor came and rebuked her strongly. Both the horse and Sarah, who have learned horse riding for less than one year, seem shaken. The only way to achieve perfection is through practice and concentration. Ну, потому что им завтра выступать, показывать свое мастерство, а они немножко не слушались то, что им говорилось. Вот кричу. У меня характер такой, кричу я постоянно. Вот и все. Зато слушаются. And the instructor has reason to do so because just a few days ago, another cast member got hurt falling off their horse. Sarah is especially nervous since this is her first performance. She will have to show the Kozak spirit in a way that befits the festival's name. Это фестиваль о единении лошади и человека. Мифическое такое животное кентавр. То есть рассказывает о гармонии со существованием лошади и человека. The highlight of the Centaur Festival is an acrobatic show on horseback. Sarah has spent most of her time with her horse for the past year in preparation for the show. It is now time to do the final checks. Seeing the members dance on their horses makes me even more curious about the festival. I wonder what kind of performance will be staged tomorrow. Will we be able to see the Kozak spirit from five centuries ago? Finally, it is the morning of the Centaur Festival. Prashantik Street in the middle of the city becomes a car-free road during the weekends for the locals. Here is a familiar treat. Happy to rediscover the cotton candy of my youth, I got one for myself. Music is always present in festivals. 
Although it is a street performance, the performers show off their skills. This is what a professional should be like. The performers are sharing not only their music, but also joy and romance. Let's see, what else is there to see? A small crowd has gathered on the street. Isn't that a statue? Following the lead of the crown, I open my purse. What would happen if I gave it money? How had he stayed so still until now? I made a wish that the angel's peace would fill the street forever. Then I spotted a baby wild boar, a baby boar in the middle of the street. <laughs> Ukrainians believe that good luck will come to them if they touch a pig. It was the first time I'd ever seen a baby wild boar. It was cute and friendly to people. We headed to the outskirts of Kiev to see the highlight of the Centaur Festival. Guests are greeted in a special way at the festival. Before entering, guests break off a piece of bread. This means that the host will treat the special guest with special food. The Centaur Festival is an annual festival held to celebrate the uprising of the Cossacks to gain independence. Befitting a Cossack festival, various aspects of medieval life in Kiev can be seen here. There is a demonstration showing how coins were minted during the Middle Ages. First, the coin is put in the frame. Then, you have to hit it as hard as you can. This can be dangerous if you hammer down wrongly. It was much harder than it looked. This is the completed coin. What did the Kozaks buy with their coins? Now that we have our coins, it's time to head to the market. There was also a stall offering the chance to make pottery.
The Kozaks drank beer from cups without handles. Perhaps this was a kind of cup that they drank from. Then, another stall caught my attention. <laughs> At first, I thought it was a ghost, but upon closer inspection, this was not the case. What is this doll called? <laughs> we followed a delicious smell and found the food stalls that are always present at festivals. This is traditional Ukrainian food called shashlik. It is similar to Korea's meat on a stick, kochigui. Every household has a grill to cook shashlik, which is a nationally enjoyed food like Korea's samgyeopsal. One bite of this sausage is quite a mouthful. It was truly delicious. Finally, it is time for the performance. The actors are dressed in traditional Kozak costumes. The anticipation mounts. Before the show started, I looked for Sarah. I hope that my good wishes are sent to her. It is bad manners for guests to remain seated. Everyone has to join in and enjoy the traditional dance. The fitting his reputation as a country of beautiful women, Ukraine gives a splendid dance performance for its visitors. Now, it is time for the highlight of the performance. The actors seem nervous as they get ready. Conjuring up images of the mythical creatures, after which the festival is named, men on horseback are first to appear. Sarah looks confident. Soon, a show performed by humans and horses begins. The women performers are like brave warriors. Now, it's Sarah's turn. Oh. 
Well, I think my good wishes helped. For a minute, tension runs high on stage, and several cavalry men appear. They are actually going to make a human pyramid on the horse's backs. The three horses and six men will become one, showing off the spirit of the Kozak cavalry. These men show bravery, overcoming their fear and becoming one with their horses and each other. This is the Kozak spirit that the Ukrainians would like to remember. At one time, the might of Kievan Rus was so great that they ruled over Moscow as if it were a village. But Ukraine was fated to experience a troubled history due to the endless invasions that followed. However, the Ukrainians were able to overcome those times with their Slavic determination pride in their history, and the Kozak spirit. <laughs>